The TDS is inescapable. It's just inescapable. I apologize. Okay. Brace yourselves. All right. And get your popcorn ready because we're going to break this thing down right here. Okay. We're not going to let them get away with this nonsense. Okay. We're going to bring this right back down to earth because we know they're all on cloud nine. Way too high in the sky to have any any type of common sense. So, before we get into this video, shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad elites. You guys are bomb.com. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Hope everybody's making their money legally and drinking their water. And no, this is not financial advice. Let's get into the video. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, share these videos, and let's go. That's, what, that's what's been so troubling to me, sort of this 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 internal firing squad. It, it's been really bothering me. And what's also been by, bothering me is, you know, well, Joe Biden should have stuck to what he said. He should have stuck to his promise. He lied. Let's just take a little refresher course. I don't think that he was lying. Uh, Anna Navarro spoke to Joe Biden, and he had every intention not to pardon his son, he did but once he realized that President-elect Trump is going to be on a revenge tour, there were changing circumstances. He became the pragmatic president that we always knew. Now, let's talk about what? lying, and I also had to write it down because <laughs> I couldn't remember. The Washington Post indicates that President-elect Trump made false or mis misleading claims a total of 30,573 times over four years. Just in August 20... Mm -hmm. Just in August 2024, NPR clocked him at 162 lies during a news conference. October 24th, CNN clocked him 40 separate lies in only two Pennsylvania speeches. So if we want to talk about lying, let's talk about that and stop this... Paul about Joe Biden lying. So you do want to talk about Joe Biden lying, since you want to talk about, talk about lying, all right? Because, I mean, that, that is what you just said. I don't think, I don't know if she realizes. She said, you want, if you want to talk about lying, <laughs> we, we're here to talk about the lying, Sonny. Don't, don't worry, okay? This is what's wrong with politics, though, right? I mean, it's like, how far down the bottom of the barrel can we go? We're, um, but it's like, well, no two, two yeah. wrongs don't make a We're right, the though. Crust. Yeah. Two wrongs don't make a right. And, and I think what people are seeing with Hunter specifically is what they... What Sonny just said is they're coming straight out of hell. <laughs> you heard it coming straight out of Compton. Uh, the Democrats are coming straight out of hell. The Democrats. We're going to run it back. Like, there well, no two, two yeah. wrongs don't make a We're right, the though. Crust. Yeah. Two wrongs don't make a right. And, and I think hell. what people are seeing with Hunter specifically is what they hate about politics, mm -hmm. yeah. right? They hate the fact that you can be in these political circles, this elite world, and somehow you're above the law. But I don't do they care hate who you are. Much, None of us are above the law. And pardons have happened throughout history. So he can do what he wants. You're exactly yeah. right. Yeah. I think the problem is this. Ooh. I'm glad she said it, okay? I am so glad she said it. He can do what he wants because that's exactly what he's doing. And exactly what he's doing is what's tearing up our country and why our country is in this, uh, 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 you know, it's looking like ruins and it's just in turmoil. I mean, if Biden's good at anything, it's setting things on fire because he certainly set America on fire. All right. And, uh, you know, that's just what it is. Um, I, I'm, I'm, it's like they tell on themselves. They really I don't know if they really hear the words that come out of their mouth, but we're listening. These headphones work. <laughs> this video is working. <laughs> and uh we're seeing it we're calling this nonsense out and and you know that's the problem biden biden has this this whole thing of rules for thee and not for me rules for you and not for me i'm not i'm not biden but you know the rules are on me too you know rules for thee and not for me that's that's what joe biden wakes up saying <sighs> rules for thee and, and not for me you know and uh you know, on the topic of lying, that's what he's been doing this entire time. He's been lying, he's been stealing, and he's just been sabotaging. He, he's very inconsiderate, and he just makes decisions without, you know, thinking about how this will affect the American people. And that's what makes him such, such an awful president. I mean, the list goes on, really. I mean, he's a criminal, the Biden crime uh, uh, familia, all right, the, the Biden mafia, all this other nonsense. You know, we see it. And I honestly think they see it. But I don't really know if they realize that they're calling it out too. At the, like it's they're they're kind of exposed. They, like they really tell on themselves. If you listen close enough, they tell on themselves and they expose themselves. 
But I don't know if they can comprehend the fact that they're actually exposing themselves. They're actually, like, admitting Biden is a straight lunatic who thinks he can do whatever he, he can just do whatever he wants. They're admitting it. You know, I don't know if they realize that they're, you know, justifying our case here. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This has been baked for some time. And there's this trend where there were a lot of people that felt a bit gaslit with the way they handled the inner circle of the Biden team handling his health, how they communicated that. They felt like they weren't as honest. And then you have this. It kind of, I have to just but point something out. But they that much since they voted the guy in that, that, that lied like 40,000 times? Look, I think that story is people have made their choice about. Uh, we voted the guy in because of the guy that lied 40,000 times. All right, so that's just what happened there. You know, Sonny thinks she's, she's cooking and she's not. All right, you know. Just because they gave you a mic doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> about Trump, yeah. they know the good that they know the good, bad, and the ugly. Last time I saw Biden was at this table, and I, it was when he was announcing he was running. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but think about how different that moment was, and how different. Yeah, how sad it was. That mood was. <laughs> he said, "I'm going to bring this country together. I'm mm -hmm. going to get Trump out of office." I'm Correction. Well, translation. I'm going to tear this country apart. <laughs> that's that's what Biden said. Biden wakes up with the you know the intent to. Uh, find new ways to destroy the country. Let's turn the entire country into New York City. Let's make the whole country look like California. <laughs> I mean, the nightmare that I have here sitting in this chair, even though I'm awake, um, you know, as I picture that. <sighs> now, how, what are some new ways we can make the whole country look like California? Oh, my gosh. Have you lost your mind? Uh, you said I'm the president? <laughs> Biden wakes up and forgets that he's in charge. <laughs> I'm going to be the palate cleanser that this country desperately save needs. Save the soul of a nation. What breaks my heart is for a man that has served most of his life. You said sell the soul of the nation. I think they already did. He is going out in one of the worst ways. You are sandwiched between Trump years. You are now pardoning your son from cri criminal activity. Mm -hmm. um, you are ousted by your own party. This is not what he wants his legacy to be. You think he's sitting there thinking, this is how I'm going to be I don't remembered. Think that's this his legacy. I don't think he's thinking at all. I don't even think he knows what his legacy is going to be or let alone, let alone what his legacy is. I mean, if it's like, you know, abusing little kids and, you know, turning people into Transformers, not the Michael Bay movies, and uh, out here just sabotaging the country and, you know, his son is out here doing, uh, you know, that coquerina and, uh, you know, they, they got all this ridiculous nonsense on their laptops and stuff. I don't really think Biden even knows what's going on, to be honest with you. Like, does he even realize he's president? I think he, like, he literally forgot he was president for, like, a whole, you know, that the whole ending half of the uh, the uh, campaign race, and Ku Klux Kamala Harris comes out, and she, she was, like, the standing president for a while, even though she wasn't, like, the president officially, you know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Biden just steps out the coffin, and he's in charge again. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> like, where did you come from? <laughs> To be written about. But I think the issue, too, is, is that we're missing, once again, the forest for the trees. I think we're focusing on the wrong thing. The thing is, is that we continue to put our faith in politicians, and every single time you do that, they will let you down. I think that what we need to be focusing on are the policies, and we need to hold people, or our politicians, accountable for... See, see, that right there, that right there. Whoever this lady is, uh, shout out to her. I don't know what side she's on yet, but... You know, as far as holding uh, the politicians accountable, we are holding them accountable, okay? And uh, that's why we're making it such a big deal about what's what going, what's going on with Biden. Because it's a big deal. This man literally thinks he can just wake up and do what he wants. This man thinks that, you know, life just doesn't apply to him. Like, I, he, I, I could just do whatever the heck I want. Somehow, I just ended up the president, and I'm in charge. So, what I say goes, hey, uh, 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 Simon says, yeah, that kind of thing. I don't think that's the greatest example, but it came to my mind just now. Anywho, um, that's Biden. You know, but, but the, the, the real problem is, though, that he's not taking accountability and his decisions actually wreck lives. OK, the American people's lives, in fact. All right. That I think that when it comes to what we need to be focusing on, we need to move on. We need to pick up the pieces from this election. And then I think we need to re regroup and focus on the next four years. I don't think we need to be worrying about the fact that he 
is pardoning, pardoning Hunter Biden. I don't think that that would have changed how the public views uh, politicians at all. If he did decide to not pardon him, we would still feel the same way. We've lost trust in that, and that's why we need to put our trust and our faith in policies and not necessarily the people. I, and, are, and are you worried at all? And, and I think we policies and not the people, which is exactly why Kamala Harris lost. Exactly why uh, Donald Trump, Jedi Trump, is in office. All right. How does that sound, Jedi Trump? I never really said that before. I like that. Um, Jedi Trump. Is it Master Trump, Jedi Trump? I don't know. You know, on, on some Star Wars type stuff. But, uh, yeah. You know, this is exactly why Biden is being, like, kicked out of the White House. So there's that. <laughs> need to talk about policies. I, understand, I know we're out of time, Whoop. Um, people should be worried about the policies of Project 2025. Sure. That's yeah. what they need to bone up on, and read, up, need to group, read up. I just want you guys to know I have no hope. I have no, I have literally zero faith, okay? If I could, you know, like, if I had any faith, it's like negative 100, all right? Um, in Sunny Host and coming to the light, all right? She's, she's gone. <laughs> She's gone. There's no saving her. Um, you know, Jesus ain't saving her. All right. It's, I'm going to just say it. All right. She's, she's gone. There is there is no, the, the Republican Party is not saving her. All right. Donald Trump being in office with his common sense policies is not going to save her. I think Sonny is, I think she flew a little too close to the sun. And then that's that. I don't think she's repairable. I think uh, she's, she's really lost in the sauce. Her and the rest of the uh, which is on the view and, um, you know, you can't save everybody. So there's that. I think the view is a perfect example of that, that, you know, some souls are lost and it's just what it's going to be. You know, that's life. I accept it. Hey, let these people go. <laughs> Up on regroup about that and be prepared. Well, maybe, maybe what we really should be focusing on is what we don't want in our politicians because right now which is yo mm -hmm. i i get because i Democrats. now am am foggy about how i feel about the news mm -hmm. about politicians because i'm not used to this level of lying lying get the freak out of here man <laughs> Sorry. Look at her face. You can see she's full of crap. I mean, seriously, seriously, you guys see this. <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> Are we watching the same show? I mean, really, like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy lies. I'm, I'm just, mm -hmm. and so now, and, and people voted, and I've been saying this since the day after the election. You have two choices. Yeah. You can either take a deep breath you have from now until January 24th, uh, 21st, 20th. no, 21st, oh, yeah. to do and be and be part of your family and have your holidays, happy Hanukkah, have Merry Christmas, have all the stuff your family is doing and stop flipping out about everything that's happening because you can't control it. You can't, there's nothing you can do about it until you know what you're flipping out about. We're not going to know that until January 21st. And so please take a deep breath. And I'm talking to the right. the. So there we have it. Shout out to uh, Whoopi Gold Crap. I can't say what I really want to say, but shout out to whoever made that name. Whoopi Gold SH. <laughs> that was hilarious, um, by the way. Uh, but yeah, you know, these people are lost. I have no faith that these people will come to the light. You know, some people are hopeful and, you know, some people will come around and they believe, comment down below if you believe the view can come to the light and they'll they'll finally find common sense and, and life will just get better and prosperous and the grass will get greener and the sky will be bluer and the sun will be golden crisp and, uh, you know, the view will come around and see Donald Trump as the awesome president that he is. Comment down below if you think that'll happen. I mean, seriously, right? Really? Let me know down below in the comments if you think they'll come around. I have no faith at all that they'll come around. I mean, like, literally, some people are just gone. I mean, that, that's the thing in life, too. Like, in life, you know, there's some people that you got to you gotta just let go. The view are those people. <laughs> the view are those people. The view, uh, these witches on the spew got to go, okay? You know, it is what it is. What, what did she just say here at the end? I, I want to hear that again. 
this, this nonsense. What you're flipping out about. We're not going to know that until January 21st. And so please take a deep breath. And I'm talking to the right. All right. I can't have that music playing. But she said, uh, where, where is it? Where is it? We're going to find it. Give me one second. We're going to find this. Today's happy Hanukkah. Have Merry Christmas. Have all the stuff your family is doing. And stop flipping out about everything that's happening because you can't control it. You that's it. No matter. That's it. That is it. You can't control it, Whoopi. You can't control it, Biden. You can't control it, Ku Klux Kamala Harris. No matter how many assassination attempts you come up with, you can't control it. That's the, that's what I wanted to address right there. Okay? And that's the biggest thing that the Democrats are flipping out about is the lack of control. All right? Because we all know these narcissists, man. That's that's what they want. They want to, like I said, rules for thee and not for me. Rules for you. You. You have rules on you. I don't. Biden doesn't have any rules when he wakes up in the morning. He wakes up in the morning and looks for a new way to sabotage our lives. But, you know, you, you have to just carry the, the yoke around your neck of Biden's stupid decisions. You know, that's that's really what this life has become with him being in charge. And that's what it would what, what it would have been with Ku Klux Kamala Harris in charge. We're not going back. Yeah, we're not Ku Klux Kamala Harris. Thank God. So there's that. Shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad elites. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, seriously, I appreciate you guys. And uh, I hope everybody is having a great and awesome day. If you're not, well, you woke up this morning. I hope everybody's drinking their water and making their money legally. No, this is not financial advice. And uh, yeah, get some sunlight, all that beautiful stuff. And uh, yeah, stay safe, stay prosperous. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Drop down below in the comments what you guys think. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say.